uh, now we are going to begin with the next lesson, which is called uh, thermochemical equation. Okay, we studied before. First lesson was energy. Second lesson was heat, and third lesson will be, inshallah, thermochemical equation. Okay, what's meant by thermochemical equation? Thermochemical equation. So this equation, okay, depend on the heat, depend on heat or enthalpy that we studied before. Add this this heat if this heat absorbed or produced. Okay, so we agree that there are two types of chemical reaction as uh, related to the heat. Okay, the reaction that absorb absorb heat, which become large amount than heat produced, so it will be called as endothermic reaction. But if the reaction that produce large amount of heat and heat heat produced became larger than the heat uh, used, so it will be exothermic reaction will be with a negative sign. So we are going to explain thermochemical equation. Thermochemical equation express the amount of heat released or absorbed by chemical reaction. So it's called the thermochemical equation. Thermochemical equation. So who can read thermochemical equation? Can raise his hand. Thermochemical equation. What about thermochemical equation? Who can read? Okay, Harbi. Read Harbi. Okay. Thermochemical equations express the amount of heat released or absorbed by chemical reactions. Okay, thanks, Khaled. Who can read again? Uh, Khaled Munif. Can you read again, please? Khaled Munif. Yes, Khaled, can you read, please? Uh, hello, Mr. Hello, Khaled. Yes. Therm thermochemical equations express the amount of heat released or absorbed by chemical reactions. It's okay. Thanks, Khaled. Uh, Ayman. Ayman. Good morning, Ayman. It's the first time that you have, that you join with us in our chem session. Okay. Can you read Ayman, please? Can you read Ayman? Ayman, can you read, please? It's okay. I think that I think that he have uh, problems in internet connection or in your in his voice. It's okay. Let's complete. So it's chemical action, thermochemical equation. After that, essential questions that we are going to study in this lesson, inshallah, will be number one: How are thermochemical equation for chemical reaction and other processes written? How? Are thermochemical equation for chemical reaction and other processes written. Second question: How is energy lost or gained? How is energy lost or gained during changes of state? Third question: How is the heat that is absorbed or released in a chemical reaction calculated? So, how can we calculate the energy heat? Or uh, absorbed, absorbed heat, or released in chemical action calculator. So they are the third question that we are going to explain. Okay, who can read this essential question? <coughs> Mortez, can you read, please, Mortez? Mortez, can yes, you read, sir. please? Okay, Mortez. Okay, I'm sorry. How are uh, thermo thermochemical <laughs> thermo thermochemical equation thermochemical equation uh, for uh, chemical reactions and other uh, processes like everything. But it's okay. Second question. Second question. Second question. Second question. Who can read second question? 
eh, Abdulillah. Abdulillah, can you read second question? Abdulillah, can you read second question? Okay, Abdurrahman. Okay, Abdurrahman, can you read second question? Yes, yes, Mr. Okay, Abdurrahman. Uh, how is energy lost or gained during change of state? Okay, thanks, Abdurrahman. A third question, Abdullah. How is the heat that is absorbed or released in a chemical reaction calculated? It's okay. Thanks, Abdullah, for participation. Uh, after that, the vocab that we are going to study and vocab that we studied before. Okay, we studied before combustion reaction. Combustion, combustion reaction. That means the reactions that need heat energy. Need heat energy to be produced. Called combustion reaction. Okay, but the vocab that we are going to study. Number one, thermochemical equation. Thermochemical equation. <coughs> Number two, enthalpy, heat of combustion. Enthalpy, heat of combustion. Number three, molar enthalpy, which is called heat of vaporization. Molar enthalpy, called heat of vaporization. Molar enthalpy, again, but called the heat of fusion. Heat of fusion. Okay, so who can read, please? Uh, Khalid Satom. Khalid Satom. Where is Khalid Satom? I think that uh, some participants joined to us. Okay then record their absence and attendance, then leave. But they, but they, put, uh, they put their voice, okay, but they left. Okay, so I will, I will attend, okay, I will say the name of these participants. If he didn't share with me, so it will be loose marks, okay? Nawaf. Okay, Nawaf. Yes, Mr. Can I read? Or? Okay, go, um, Nawaf. Uh, okay. Uh, new, we have thermo, uh, thermochemical equation. Yes. Enthalpy, which is uh, heat of combustion. Yes. And we have molar enthalpy, enthalpy, which is heat of evaporization. Mm -hmm. we ha and we have molar enthalpy, which is heat of fusion. Okay. Thanks, Carl. Thanks, Nawaf. Okay, uh, Hussein, can you read it again, Hussein? Uh, the new vocab or review? Yeah, yes, yes, new vocab. Uh, new vocab. One, thermochemical equation. Two, enthalpy, heat of combustion. Uh, three, molar enthalpy, heat of vaporization. Four, molar enthalpy, heat of fusion. Okay, thanks, Hussein. Uh, after that, we are going to explain this phenomena. Number one, writing thermochemical equation. How can we write thermochemical equation? First, a thermochemical equation is a balanced chemical equation that includes the physical state of all reactants and product and energy change. Physical state of all reactants means what? Physical state means if the reactants, the reactants are solids, or liquids or gases. So you must written simple of solid as S, liquid as L, gas as G, or aqueous solution as A, Q, U. Okay, so you must write the physical state of all reactants and product and energy change. Okay, enthalpy of, enthalpy of combustion, enthalpy of combustion, okay, is a substance is the enthalpy change enthalpy change enthalpy of combustion of a substance is called what is the enthalpy change for the complete burning 
of one mole of substance. So, enthalpy of combustion, combustion means what? Means a complete burning of one mole of substance. Okay, burning one mole of substance. Okay, so it's what it's called heat of combustion. Who can read? Who can read the enthalpy of combustion? Who can read Musa? It's okay, Musa. <laughs> the enthalpy of uh, combustion heat uh, of a substance is the enthalpy change for the complete burning of one mole of the substance. Okay, thanks, Musa, for participation. Uh, El Walid, can you read, El Walid? Uh, the uh, enthalpy? Yes. Uh, the enthalpy of heat of combustion of a substance is the, the enthalpy change for the complete burning of one mole of the substance. Okay, thanks for it. After that, okay, this is called standard enthalpies of combustion. Saccharose, it's a type of sugar, which is called table sugar. It's a chemical formula, C12H22O11. It's a solid. It's enthalpy, negative 5644. Okay, it's for illustration only for illustration only, not for saving. Octane, a component of gasoline, C8, H18, it's liquid. Negative 5,471. Glucose, glucose, a simple sugar found in fruit. Glucose, it's a type of sugar which is found in fruit. C6, it's 12 O6, it's a solid. Negative 2,808. <coughs> Propane. Propane. Gas is fuel. C3, H8, it's gas. Negative 2,219. Methane. It's a gas fuel. CH4, which is, which have negative, no, negative 891. Okay, Hussein. What do you need, Hussein? So, to, do we have to memorize this uh, table? Yeah, yeah, this table. This table for illustration only, not for saving. We don't have to memorize. No, 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 no. I said, I said it's for illustration, not for saving. Okay. Okay, I said. So, how can you write this thermochemical equation? After that, change of state, molar enthalpy, molar enthalpy, okay, of vaporization. Molar enthalpy of vaporization refers to the heat required. Refers to the heat required to vaporize one mole of a liquid substance. Molar enthalpy or heat of vaporization refers to the heat required for vap to vaporize. So it's from its name, from its name, it's enthalpy of vaporization vaporization so it's called as heat required to vaporize combustion before from burning one mole of substance and this vaporization heat required to vaporize vaporize one mole of a liquid substance molar enthalpy of fusion fusion is the amount of heat required to melt fusion means melting so it's called is the amount of heat required to melt one mole of a solid substance. One mole of a solid substance. And this table, that includes standard enthalpies of vaporization and fusion for each water, ethanol, methanol, acetic acid, and ammonia. Okay, so this table also for illustration only, not for saving. Who can read the Molar enthalpy of vaporization. Vaporization. Nasser, can you read Nasser, please? First one. <coughs> Nasser. What is Nasser? Can you read Nasser? Okay. Hello. Yes. Can you read, my friend? Uh, enthalpy or thermochemical equation? No, thermochemical equation. 
Okay, a thermochemical equation is Not a this. balanced chemical Not equation. This. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What? Is this oh. molar enthalpy of heat. Okay. Okay. Uh, changes of state. Molar enthalpy of heat vaporization refers to the heat required to vaporize one mole of a liquid substance. Mol molar enthalpy of fusion is the amount of heat required to melt one mole of a solid substance. It's okay, thanks, Nasser. Okay, okay Rakan, can you read Rakan again? Okay, molar enthalpy heat of fusion is the amount of heat required to melt one mole of a solid substance. Yes. Okay, uh, can, okay, that's enough, that's enough. Khaled Al Harbi, can you complete second one, please? Khaled Harbi? Okay, sorry. Khaled Harbi, where is Khaled Harbi? Okay, Khaled, can you read, please? Yes. Molar and therapy heat of fusion is the amount of heat required to melt one mole of solid substance. Okay, thanks, Khaled, for participation. And this is a table includes starting in therapy for vaporization and fusion. It's okay. Change of state, okay? I think that the session will be ended and uh, now we are going to complete inshallah in next session okay uh, thanks for your participation but first before leaving before leaving our session okay I uh, I ask it about the time of the quiz okay time of quiz okay time will be what Hussein yes uh, the time will be at what clock? Uh, uh, as it, as it's possible for all for all participants will be at what? How about seven? Uh, we still uh, seven? No. Seven or eleven? Seven. Uh, I think seven is the. Uh, it's okay. Place. If if you yeah, agree, we'll if you agree about the next Monday, inshallah, at seven o'clock. Okay, seven o'clock. Okay, can raise his hand. Seven o'clock. Monday yeah. at. Uh, Yes, PM. No, no. Yes, PM. PM. Yes, PM. يعني بعد المغرب. بعد المغرب إن شاء الله. اختاروا يا أحضر يا دروسي أحضر اختبار. بعد المغرب. بعد المغرب يا عبد الرحمن. مش الصبح يا عبد الرحمن. بعد المغرب. Okay. Who can agree? One, two, three, four, five only. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Seven only. Pass, Mister. More than. Alham, ترفعوا ولا لا؟ شباب راجين تفهم مع بعض على وقت معين. كده كده يعني كله كده كله مش مشار. Mister, Mister, Mister. Yes, yes, عبد الرحمن. أنا مع أي وقت تبغونه. خلاص. سهل سهل. ركان ركان عبد الرحمن. Yes, yes, معتز. أنا أنا أقول يدخلون في الدونس. عشان كل يكون صاحي او وحده الظهر بعد ال يا بابا الساعه إيه إيه انا بتكلم الساعه 7 المغرب 7 المغرب مش الصبح يا معتز 7 ده هيكون بعد المغرب اوكي تمام بصير غير عن الدروس بصير اختبار الحال بعيد خالص